Goodbye to tedious rigging and complex techniques. We have got the RBC add-on. With just a few clicks, you will create mind-blowing vehicle animations. Download it now from Blender Market or Gumroad. Link in the description. So we'll start by importing our model from Sketchfab and we want to get rid of the excess parts and make it only 5 parts, the 4 tires and the vehicle's body so that the add-on could work properly. Let's start by selecting the tires and press Ctrl J to join. Name this and clear the parent and keep transform. And we can come here, do the same, separate the tire. Ctrl J, we come here and name this back right. Do the same, we we'll clear the parent and keep transform. And now we can duplicate this back left and back right and use it to form the tires in front. Duplicate objects, move it on the Y axis. Place it right about here. This will be our front left. And this will be our front right. Now we can go ahead and hide these models. Get rid of this. Now we want to join all these models as one. Can select all of them. Press Ctrl G and name this body. We will do the same. Parent, clear, and keep transformation. We don't need all these other things. Go ahead and delete them. Now we have our five parts. And it will be good to make sure that there's a reasonable space between the tires and the vehicle's body. So let's just shift them down a bit. Let's keep it away from the vehicle's body. So it's always good to make sure that the tires are aligned. The front with the back and at the sides too, they should be aligned. So now we can go into the RBC add-on and click on add rig. Here you want to specify the different tires. If you select this front, this will be our front left. We select this other one. This will be our front right. Oh so yeah, you select this. This will be our back left. And this will be our back right. And this is the vehicle's body. Click on generate rig. We have our rig generated. And if you come here and increase the value of drive and press play, we have our vehicle moving. Make this a higher value. Press play. The speed increases. If you don't want these lines to show, you can come here and switch them off. So this option here, steering, you can use it to control the direction of the car. You can steer the car to any direction that we want. You can also increase the speed. We try and keep it in frame. And steer it the way. We put it in negative, the car will be on reverse. And the crazy thing about this add-on is that it's free. Although there's a paid version, that one has more features. Like you can use your keyboard to control the vehicle in real time. So that's cool. It's something you should consider. So if you come to the tuning, you can adjust the wheels, the turn radius, the suspension, how springy it is and the stiffness and even the tire friction so if you want the vehicle to be drifting you can reduce the tire friction so a cool thing about this add-on is that the vehicle collides with your environment you can hide this ground floor if you don't want to see that rbc ground and hide that and you can see here it's toggled off in your rendered view so it wouldn't show when you're rendering and we can add our own plane. Shift A, add a plane. Go into edit mode and subdivide. Add to the fractal. And we can just add a subdivision surface modifier to it. So if we hit play, you can see that the vehicle is not interacting with the ground plane that we just added. Let's select the plane. Go into the add-on. I want to select the passive collision. You can change that to mesh. Let's bring the road down a bit and increase the speed. Let's play. So you see, the vehicle is following the bumpiness of the road. Each of these values, you can animate them. Go to your timeline, press I here. You can take this to zero and press I. You hit record, then you press play. 
Now, after doing that, we can see our animation playing in real time. You can even have collision between your vehicle and objects. So let's add a cube here. Can duplicate a couple of them stacked on top of each other. And we can just come here, set them as active. Active, active, set the ground as passive. So let's delete the cut. And you see, your vehicle is colliding with the objects. Let's increase the speed of the vehicle. And if we come here and hit record, well, with that, we have the animation stored and it plays in real time so you can play back and forth on your timeline. If you need an in depth video of how this add on works, you can leave a comment on this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.